Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, your go-to channel for all things related to electricity and its fascinating applications. In today's episode, we're going to explore a topic that's crucial for every homeowner. Why does your circuit breaker keeps tripping? Join me as we delve into this subject and gain a comprehensive understanding of the causes behind circuit breaker tripping. So, let's jump right in. Here's a simple breakdown of what might be causing the issue. Overload. An overload occurs when you have too many electrical devices or appliances connected to a single circuit, and they're drawing more power than the circuit can handle. This can happen, for example, if you're using multiple high-powered devices on the same circuit. When the circuit senses this excessive load, the breaker trips to prevent overheating and potential fires. Solution, try unplugging some devices or distributing them across different circuits. Make sure you're not overloading any particular circuit with too many power-hungry devices. Short circuit, a short circuit happens when a hot wire, carrying electricity, comes into direct contact with a neutral wire, returning electricity, or a ground wire. This creates a sudden surge in electrical flow, causing the breaker to trip and break the circuit to protect your device from damage. Solution, inspect your electrical wiring for any signs of damage, such as exposed wires or loose connections. If you find any, it's best to call a qualified electrician to fix the issue. Ground fault, a ground fault occurs when a hot wire touches a ground wire or a metal part of an appliance, causing an unintended flow of electricity. This can happen in areas where water is present, like bathrooms or outdoor outlets. Ground faults can also trip your circuit breaker. Solution, check if any of your appliances or outlets are near water sources. If you find any, make sure they are equipped with ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs, which are designed to quickly detect ground faults and prevent accidents. You can also consider installing GFCI outlets in areas where water is commonly present. A faulty circuit breaker. A faulty circuit breaker can also be a possible cause for its tripping frequently. Over time, circuit breakers can wear out or become damaged, which can lead to them tripping even when there's no apparent overload or short circuit. Here's what you can do if you suspect a faulty circuit breaker. Reset the breaker. First, try resetting the trip circuit breaker by firmly switching it to the off position and then back to the on position. Sometimes, a temporary power surge or minor electrical issue can cause a trip. If the breaker trips immediately after resetting or continues to trip frequently, it's likely a sign of a faulty breaker. Identify other signs of a faulty breaker. Look for any other indications that the circuit breaker might be faulty. These can include buzzing or crackling sounds coming from the breaker panel, a burning smell near the breaker, or physical signs of damage like a loose connection or charred marks. Replace the circuit breaker. If you suspect a faulty circuit breaker, it's best to replace it with a new one. However, working with electrical components can be dangerous, so it's recommended to consult a licensed electrician for assistance. They will have the expertise and tools to safely replace the faulty breaker and ensure it's installed correctly. By replacing the faulty circuit breaker, you can restore the proper functioning of your electrical system and reduce the occurrence of unnecessary trips. A faulty device. A faulty device can indeed be another possible reason for your circuit breaker tripping. If a particular device or appliance is malfunctioning, it can create an electrical imbalance or a short circuit, causing the circuit breaker to trip. Here's what you can do if you suspect a faulty device. Unplug the device. Start by unplugging the device that you suspect might be causing the issue. This will help isolate the problem and prevent it from further affecting the circuit. Test the circuit. After unplugging the device, Reset the circuit breaker if it has tripped. If the circuit breaker doesn't trip again, it's a good indication that the faulty device was the cause. However, if the breaker continues to trip even with the device unplugged, the issue might lie elsewhere, such as with the wiring or the circuit itself. Inspect the device, take a close look at the faulty device for any visible signs of damage, such as frayed wires, scorch marks, or unusual odors. These can be indications of an internal electrical issue. If you notice any such signs, it's best to discontinue using the device and have it repaired or replaced by a professional. Seek professional assistance. If you're unsure about the specific device causing the problem or if you can't identify any visible issues, it's recommended to contact a qualified electrician. They can perform a more thorough inspection, conduct electrical tests, and help identify and resolve the issue. Remember, if you're not comfortable working with electrical systems, it's always best to seek assistance from a qualified electrician. They can inspect your wiring, troubleshoot the issue, and ensure your electrical system is safe and functioning properly. 